right, where do I begin? This is uh, the first of many starting my vlogs. I am in Fargo, North Dakota right now, preparing for my travel, my journeys. I just kind of wanted to start somewhere, I guess, give myself a little pre-travel content, I suppose, to look back on. See how underprepared I really made myself be. <laughs> but um, I'm planning to do these podcasts with uh, people I meet over there just to really, like, I don't know, just learn a lot about people in the world. Uh, it's going to be called Culture Shock. This is just a, I feel like I'm going to look back on this and just be like, oh my gosh, you did it. Like, But right now it's just an idea in my head um, and I'm trying to bring it to fruition. This is just the first of many. Uh, we're just getting started. Checked out a camera from NDSU today. Yeah, if you couldn't tell for whatever reason, if you're unfamiliar with me in my life, I, I go to NDSU, North Dakota State University. Yeah, I went to the Frisco game we just had. Yeah, it was bad. Congratulations to NDSU. You guys played a hell of a game. Uh, but still, roll herd, baby. Even wearing the Texas Pride hoodie. <laughs> yeah, so I got this super nice camera that I'm barely learning how to use. Um, what is this? It's like a Canon EOS 60D. I'm so unfamiliar with cameras and that stuff, so, yeah. EOS 60D, if you guys are familiar, then you can understand what's going on, because I don't. <laughs> Got a little flip-out guy here, and I can turn it around and have it face me. Probably be using a combination of both of these to create some content, start my vlogging journey, become the best vlogger out there ever known. I'm just kidding. Now I'm just going to be doing me um, and having this uh, whole documentation pro process to look back on I think will be so awesome. I guess I should explain what what is even going on with my life. Um, I'm a fourth year architecture student here at NDSU. I am going to study abroad this semester. Today is Thursday, January 12th and I will be leaving on the 17th on Tuesday, leaving from Minneapolis to go over to New York, JFK station, all the way over to Brussels. Um, and then I'll be staying in Brussels, Belgium for three months uh, and should be returning around April, mid-April, roughly April 12th. So yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm starting this um, whole thing. And I'm super excited to just begin my journey because um, I'm not only beginning a journey to travel overseas, but I, I feel like I, I'm ready to start a new era in my life um, and, and really just grow as a person. Like there's just so much out there to see, do and grow from. And I've been learning so much. Um, and as of lately, I just, I've been feeling so stagnant, um, all this potential in my life that um, <laughs> and it's funny hearing, I don't know, I'm 21, um, for reference, uh, it's probably stupid hearing a 21 year old say that, but I mean, I feel like everyone has that in the time of their life where they're like, like, oh, I have so much potential to do this and I didn't do it and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, think in the back of your head with those regrets that you, you had that you didn't do. And I'm kind of telling myself now, I'm like, oh, well, you, st you still have a chance to change it. And it doesn't matter what age you are, you still have a chance to change it. Um, life is always a journey. It never ends. And so I'm like, yeah, let's get after it. I've always wanted to do some vlogging, videography stuff, photography stuff. Um, I didn't realize how much of a passion I really had for it until I started dabbling with it. Um, and man, I am so excited to do this podcast. Like I've been wanting to do a podcast for a very long time. Um, I've had a handful of people tell me like, oh, you should do a podcast. And I'm always having these really, I don't know, podcast worthy conversations with people I feel like. I've listened to a lot of podcasts, so I, I feel like it would it would be stupid of me not not to have one. Um, so that's kind of where this is going, and and this vlog experience too is just kind of just to document my stuff, man, pretty much. So today, um, just for me, kind of personally, I got these new glasses from Target Optical. And I got myself some Ray-Bans. 
I, I told myself, I'm like, don't get Ray-Bans. Just, I told myself I just wanted some reliable glasses and I'm in the store trying all these different ones on and for whatever reason, of course I gravitated to some of the most expensive glasses I could find because I just really liked the look they had on my face. I could care less about the brand to be honest, but I'm just like, ah man, I guess I could treat myself. I haven't had a pair of new glasses in a minute, and like I said, those ones are really banged up, and if they're of such quality, then maybe I will take much better care of them. In theory, right? Ooh. I didn't really expect this to be such an aesthetically pleasing unboxing video. Amazing. I gotta do it dramatically for you guys. What? Oh man, these things are sweet. A little dusty. They got the Ray-Ban classic print on the inside. So bougie. I, I really didn't need these. <laughs> what a great way to start the vlogs. Make me seem like such a brand hustling hype beast, but no. Nah. These look so nice. They look so good. I like it. And with the mustache. I've been getting a lot of comments on the mustache lately. Shout out to those people. Ah, this is sweet. This is my look now. What's up, guys? It's the new and improved Parker. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, a special Ray-Ban cloth, baby. It smells like vinegar, almost. I don't know, I don't know why I smell stuff. I smell a lot of stuff, it's kind of weird. I don't think so, my girlfriend thinks so. Dog behavior. Oh, these are so cool. So this is what I, I'm looking at right now. This is what I'm currently living in right now. My back balcony. Look at this guy. I don't know how you... <laughs> I don't know how you can like do that. Like, Where does it go? What do you do with it? Just chuck it off. To me, it just seems kind of sketchy. But yeah, so this is gonna be a cool shot that I'm filming. And then when I get back, I mean, when I get over to Brussels, then I'm going to show the sh scene from where I live there and just do this cool transition where I just, or maybe, and then it's the new scene. Yeah, something like that. We'll figure it out. I'm trying to pack way too much. Got the spread here. Yeah, this might be a before and after type of situation. Yeah. But I'm um, pretty much just going to freestyle it. Just picked out a bunch of stuff that I would bring. And then just try to cut it all in half. And sadly here too. <laughs> and fit in the suitcase. To the best of my ability. This is vlog number one, technically. Or just the first film. This is weird. Also, big thing I was told by my classmates over there is socks. A lot of them said they wish they brought more socks, so. I mean, that's always something you can buy, too, if you don't have it. Right, right, worst case scenario. So I'm making sure I'm not shorting myself on socks and underwear. Those are two things I never throw myself on.
my Xbox in here. Probably not a wise idea to bring it, but I am anyway. Got an adapter kit right here to adapt to all the world's outlets. All my electronics and other important cables. Um, health supplements, including ranch. Very important health supplement. Toiletries. Camera. First aid kit. Calendar to help me remember America by. America the Beautiful. You won't forget it in the three months. No. <laughs> Great addition to it. Glasses, controllers. You have two glasses? Uh, that's just an extra case. Okay. Oh, speaker, charger, and then uh, drying supplies, if I haven't already. Hopefully fit it into this guy. We'll see how it goes. Safe. Sitting here for about another hour yet. Flight departing at 12:45, and then uh, headed to New York. Been chilling for there for a few hours on a layover, and then after that, jumping across the whole pond. So, let's see how this goes. I'm exhausted. I'm going off of like an hour of sleep. Definitely should have planned my packing a little bit better. Procrastinated that very hard, saying too many goodbyes on the last day. Not a good time to decide to pack everything on the last day either. <laughs> hey, we're here. We made it. Not gonna miss the snow. Maybe a little bit. It's gonna be beautiful. I don't know. I'm just so excited and I'm tired. So then, peace out.
officially arrived in Brussels. We are trying to walk to our apartment. We are not lost. <laughs> so far things are going well. Travel is going super smooth. Surprisingly. I don't know, I always have low expectations. But uh this place is beautiful. This place is insanely beautiful. Architecture is crazy, like one bus ride. I already felt like I got like a city tour, but it's literally probably expensive. But what? No, we're vlogging. Say hello to the vlog. What's up, Ben? <laughs> I'm documenting the experience with the local pigeons. Better than rats. I went to DC and it was just rats. <laughs> but yeah, it's going good. What's up vlog? This is day one. I am officially getting settled into my new apartment. I have been here for Arrived here at like 10 a.m. roughly. Landed, I think, around like 8. I landed like 8.30 on local time here in Brussels. And then got here at 10.30. So it's been, I don't even know what time it is now. I think like 11. So like my first 12 hours here. Little update. Just showing how things are going. Of course, I've been super tired and exhausted from travel. Uh, before I got my first flight, I was going off of like maybe an hour of sleep, if that. <laughs> and of course... I'm a procrastinator and I was packing very last minute, so. <laughs> but it went well. Here's just a little tour. Um, I can't get into it. Uh, this is the bathroom. Um, pretty nice. I mean, this whole place is pretty nice. Plenty of towel racks, uh, which is very nice, I like. Showers are very adjustable, which I'm happy about. A lot of showers tend to be like super short. Um, and then just a nice bath. This is like a movable partition and I'm not really crazy about it because I already took a shower and I got water all over the floor. Um, I think cause I like, I accidentally pushed this when I was showering. And then as you can see all the water hitting it just, oh man, it was bad. So that's going to be a learning curve. Um, not really a fan of that. Hair dryer. Uh, these are light switches. <laughs> Nothing crazy. Like, I don't know why I even bothered. Toilet room. Separate from the shower room, which is kind of nice. Because I will have a roommate. My buddy Hunter. And then it's got dual flush. So, number one and number two. Which is pretty nice. I think America should adopt that standard. I mean, they do in some, but like don't see it very often. This is my kitchenette. Uh, got all the essentials. Got a mini fridge. It also has a small freezer compartment in there, which is nice. A microwave that I really don't know how to use yet. <laughs> so that's going to be a learning curve. And then um, dining room. Little workspace, desk, uh, TV, and couch. Came with that lamp. Not bad. And then uh, just the bedroom area. These beds were initially like right up against each other. So that's going to have to change. Probably going to move that table, which was there, right there. Maybe both of them in between. I don't know. Just don't want to like really cover up the outlets. I don't know. I'm figuring it out. I'm just rambling. But then um, here's my view. Just, um, just a narrow street. But it's not bad. No, this is home. This is home for the next three months. So I'm getting settled in here. Getting uh, all my stuff unpacked. And I kind of wanted to go through a run through because I was packing super last minute. Um, and did not really give myself enough time to have a checklist. So I hope I, I packed all the essentials. But... This is basically my clothes for the next three months. I'd just give a little rundown because it's kind of interesting. How do you condense your life down in three months? Especially when you have like a ton of clothes like I do. Um, 
shirts, like exterior layers. Layering is like something that I found was uh, a big part when you're trying to have less clothes so you can mix and match. So I got a bunch of different like college shirts, bolo, a couple flannels in there. And then I have five pairs of pants. These are just khaki shorts. So three jeans, two nicer pair of jeans, one's ripped for whatever nightlife and stuff. And then two nicer khaki pants. Uh, like four pairs of shorts and swim trunks. I plan to work out avidly while I'm here, so I thought that was important. T-shirts. I think I had about like 10, 10 t-shirts. Of course, I'm currently wearing one, 10 or 12 or something like that. Needed a couple working out t-shirts. Um, plain color t-shirts. Like I wanted to bring more white tees, but I got this one, which is, it's got decal, but it's mostly white. Plain, plain shirts with neutral colors I thought was a nice goal so you can mix and match a lot so a lot can go together. That's what I would recommend. And then just kind of like some cool decal tees that I have. Um, novelty ones that can also go with a lot of different stuff, you know. Beanie, keep me warm. I got two belts there. Um, and then just kind of some overthrows, sweatshirts and stuff. It's winter here, so it's still cold, but nothing like Fargo. So mild compared to Fargo. It's actually really nice. I could wear shorts out there any day of the week. And then, um, and then like three hats to kind of just mix match with my outfits too. Well, I like wearing hats, and then I have like a gray, a white, and a black. So, like I said, back with the neutrals, so you can like really mix and match. So I hope that's enough. I hope that does the trick, but only one way to find out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Kind of, I guess one last thing I want to show you guys is the outlets, because I just find it very interesting. Um, I have an adapter plugged in here, but but yeah. All these outlets in all these different countries are different. So, like, this is Belgium's outlet. Um, but if I were to go to, like, Italy or something, or France, I think, is also different, then these would be different. Shout out to my mom. Super solid Christmas present here. Like, this pops out here, and then I can, like, interchange it with all these universal adapters around the world. But, yeah. That's pretty much everything. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'll keep you guys tuned in and posted. And see y'all soon. Peace out. Oh yeah, one other thing that I almost forgot to show that I want to put in just because it's super interesting is the food here has these things called Nutri-Scores. I have to look into these, what these are based off of because <clears throat> I really don't know. But this is on like what I've noticed a lot of the foods, I stopped in like two different convenience stores to buy some minor groceries for myself. Um, and I got some like basic groceries, found hot dogs in a jar. <laughs> Honestly, this is probably pretty disgusting to most people, but I saw hot dogs. I recognized them. I knew I could make a meal out of them if I was struggling. So that bread, ketchup, you got yourself a meal. But yeah, no, these have a health score too, a D, <laughs> so with this, and I didn't really realize that picking these out until after the fact, so of course I picked like some of the most unhealthy food ever, that's probably an American thing to do, I don't know, hot dogs aren't very healthy to begin with, I don't know if I'm really ever going to eat them, but I saw hot dogs in a jar and thought, why, why the hell not, so, yeah. Just thought I'd want to show that off. I figured out some better food situations here. Got some leftovers. Checked out a restaurant nearby. Pretty pretty sweet. I mean, freezer. Picked up a frozen pizza, not uh, realizing I don't have an oven. So hopefully I can nuke that and call it a day. It's day one. This is day one. Night one. Officially signing off. Peace out, guys. Love you. Stay tuned. And I am so excited to show for whatever comes next.